excuse me, little miss. What do you think of your new room? Uh, I think it's cool. You think it's cool? Welcome back to Hanny Clark Created. So today I'm really excited to share with you a pretty simple creative tutorial. So my little girl has grown out of her crib and so we've been redoing uh, her room to be a big girl's room. Um, not really that big, <laughs> but she thinks it's big. Um, and so I've been just changing everything around, getting a new bedspread and new curtains and everything and having a lot of fun with it. And I came up with this idea to create a uh, bunting to go over her curtains and also over her mirror. And uh, I love origami. I think that it's beautiful and um, particularly <laughs> the fantail crane. And um, this is what it looks like. I think it's just so beautiful with that fan in it um, and just the the little bird and so what I thought is I thought about doing a fantail crane bunting to go over her curtains as well as her mirror and so um, I wanted to show you I'm gonna be doing teaching you guys how to create both a large this is the size that I want to put over her curtains a large bunting for her curtains and then also a little bunting to go around her mirror. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to couple these with twinkle lights to make it very magical and fun. So these are the things that you're going to need for this tutorial. Um, you're going to need some twinkle lights um, and I got these off of Amazon for they were actually pretty inexpensive and these are battery operated which is fun and they have all these different light settings that you can do uh, different different twinkle settings um, and they come with a remote which is nice as well if you want to hide the little battery pack and then just turn them on with a remote. You're going to need some scissors, a single hole punch, you need a ruler, ribbon, um, and double sided either cardstock or paper. So I've chosen to use this okie dokie um, paper by DCWV. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make the paper crane and then I'm going to teach you how to string it all together and then I'm going to show you the final product which I'm, I'm really happy with. I thought it turned out really cute. And this book is a fantastic book on um, origami. This is uh, The Simple Art of Japanese Paper, paper Crafts um, by Mari Ono if you want to learn how to do more origami. So let's get started. The reason why I like the double-sided cardstock is because um, with the fantail paper crane, the tail shows a different side of the paper than the body of the crane. So your body side is going to be facing down, your tail side is going to be facing up. Okay, so now with this paper, it's not into completely square, so I have to square it off. Now the important part of these paper cranes is to make sure that your um, or creases are really well done. Okay, so we're gonna do something they call a square fold. And so how you do that is you first fold it in half like this and then you open it back up and you fold it again just in the opposite direction. And then the reason why they call it a square is because you go like pick it up like this and then you open up this part here and I just, I just stick my middle finger right in there so that I have the, it right to the point and then I push down and match it up to this bottom point here and then just crease it down and see how that creates a square fold right there it's a square and then you just turn it over and do the same thing on the other side is you want to make sure that this side <clears throat> is facing down is where it's it doesn't open where the crease faces down and then you're going to pull this side in like this and match it up along the fold right there or good crease and then do the same on the other side just making sure that that crease is facing down okay 
Now, we're going to take this bottom part and fold it up so that this, the fold happens right along this line right here. All right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up. You're gonna take this top layer right here and you're gonna pull down so that this opens up into like a long skinny diamond shape. All right, now what you do is you're gonna turn it over and you're going to open up these little triangles here. I just again stick my finger down in there so that it helps open up that triangle. And you push down and spread it out right there, just keeping that crease line along this same line right here. And do your creasing. Okay. And then fold it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now, we're going to go back over to the other side here. What we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold in like this again. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now this becomes a little bit of a tricky fold here because we're going to be kind of unfolding and refolding. Um, it the opposite way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one right here and we're going to take and we're going to push this fold right here up in the opposite direction that it was going. Then we're going to take this fold right here and push it in from the opposite way it was going and you're going to have this look right here. Kind of a layered little look right there. Okay and then you just run your scissors over and then do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring this part up right here and it helps if you can kind of hold down this side over here with your finger and then we're going to push this one in and then there you go see how that mirrors it okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side okay now you're going to make sure you have the same amount of folds on each, both sides so we've got one two three, four, one, two, three, four, perfect. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to fold this bottom part here along this crease line right here up, like that. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna fold it all the way down the middle like this. Um, so, I'm gonna go like this, okay? Take and put this long flat side facing up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this side, which is the non-tail side. So you got your tail here. You're gonna take this side right here and you're gonna fold up along this crease line right here. So like this. Okay. And then I'm just gonna crease it with my scissors like this. Turn it over and crease it this, the opposite way. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this kind of tricky little fold where, see how I've got my creases on either side? I'm going to open them up and push that part down and then we're going to be going this way, like this. Do you see how that becomes? It's starting to look more like a little bird here. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, just folding it back in. So this part right here, we're gonna fold up, straight up to go along so the same angle as the tail. We're gonna crease it, turn it over, and crease it again. Okay, then we're gonna open this one up as well, push it the opposite direction and see how it's facing upward like that. Okay, now one last time we're gonna do the exact same thing but we're gonna be going out again. We're gonna be folding it down to an angle that's perpendicular to the body. 
just like this. You can uh, crease it again. So then we're gonna open it up like this, push it in, and there's your little crane head. Okay, and that is the fan-tailed paper crane. Okay, so I've got a uh, almost completed uh, bunting here, but I wanted to show you how I'm tying each of these little cranes onto the um, ribbon. So what I do is I make sure that my cranes are facing the right direction when I'm threading it on. I just thread it through and then I'll measure it. And this one, since they're little cranes, I was working on a big crane when I showed you how to fold them, but these are a this is a little bunting that I'm also creating for my daughter's room. Um, so the little bunting, I just measure six inches between each of them. Uh, for the bigger one, I would have measured an entire foot. So just keep that in mind when you're making yours. You can put uh, whatever distance you want, but um, I found that the bigger ones need, you know, the full foot to look and hang right, um, and then the little ones. If there's too much space they don't I think it's it just looks too bare so anyway so six inches and then what I'm doing is I just tie a regular knot and then um, just another double knot right here and there we go and then I will just move that one down and tie on this last one here okay so here is my little girl's room this is the final product of what we've done um, and as you can see over here with the little twinkle lights here is the paper crane bunting that we made and I'm really happy with how it turned out with your little curtains and everything and those uh, little twinkle lights just make it feel really magical in here um, and yeah so I'll give you kind of a round the room tour of everything and show you kind of what we've done in here, it was lots of fun to do. And then we'll go ask this little person right here what she thinks of her room. Hi. Hello. Excuse me, little miss. What do you think of your new room? Uh, I think it's cool. You think it's cool? Okay. So that is the paper crane bunting okay, kinds bye. of. Okay, bye. <laughs>